I think in China, for the common people, they have a long time looking forward to some uh, new life, big change. In the past 30 years, in the city, all the cities, more than 90% historic area be destroyed, be demolished, totally demolished. And the people, they are very happy go in the high-rise new apartments, <laughs> that they have a new life. So it means almost no continuity about culture in the Chinese cities now, almost. So our work is uh, how we can restart this history continuity, but how rebuild this relation. It's a very hard struggle. We learn a lot of things from the tradition, but uh, our work, we want to do totally new, because the life is the, the people. The people don't like to live in the old building. They want become everything is new. And they, if we demolish the old building, we can get more money. So for us, very difficult to keep the old building still there. We cannot move just the transition here to now. So everything we must change to suit the modern people to live. Usually when we talk about Chinese culture, we like to talk about we have 3,000 years, 5,000 years, a long history. But finally, the people very easy to abandon, give up everything in a very short time. But we want to restart this talking about our tradition. What is the best things in our tradition? I think the best things is how we think about our relation between the artificial things and the natural things. This is the Chinese culture. So this is why we gradually let the people rebuild their relation between the new life and the tradition and the culture with the beautiful past about the garden history and the landscape painting history. In fact, we start the new research about gardens in the contemporary Chinese architecture. We started in the 1990s, that time. No other people do that. Family now, many cities go in the post-industry situation like this. So now in China, we have more and more projects similar to the renovation. So for us, we start our career from the renovation. Till to now, when we do any new architectural design, new project, we still use this way. Something like the mix, the old things and new things together. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's our way. But in the 1990s, that time, almost no big project chance for young architects. And uh, when I'm a student, uh, very few women students learn the, in the architecture school. But now, in our architecture school, I think more than 70% is the women. We started in the 1980s, that time, very less few. than 10% yeah. is a female student. Yes. In our studio, in fact, I'm a real amateur architect. <laughs> He's a more professional, <laughs> yes. He had a long experience in a very large national institute for 15 years? Almost 15, 15 years. 15 years. So he had a very <laughs> powerful experience how to charge the large project operation all the precise. I don't know. <laughs> in fact, usually I do more illegal things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Professional. Oh, those things, family can become reality. <laughs> so this is our <laughs> relation. <laughs>